I'm Lauren Keating with Tech Times, and we're here at the 3D Printing Expo at the Jacob Javits Center. It's the largest 3D printing show in New York City with over 40 vendors and people from across 20 countries. Let's take a look at the shape of things to come. 3D Ponics is an open source hydroponic system made specifically for educational use. So as we saw that uh, schools are getting a lot of 3D printers and all the teachers are wondering what to do with them, how to, how to implement them in the curriculum. So 3D Ponics is this, this answer. It has everything for STEM education, science, technology, mathematics, uh, engineering, and so much more. And uh, just recently we got into the idea of space farming. So basically we're tapping into the minds of uh, uh, teachers, students, and uh, allowing them to use open source uh, components and design better ones, so basically improve them, make them better, and our ultimate goal is to make the most efficient system for use on Earth, Mars, or International Space Station. We came up with this original part uh, about half a year ago. This was the first part for 3D Ponics. basically connects you know, recycled plastic bottles, and uh, we have since then came up with 36 additional components, uh, and people just keep, keep inventing new ones from the ones that we released open source, so right now we have 36. Uh, components and you can actually customize all of them using our customizer so it means that the parts are parametric so you can you can uh, re resize them change the shape and uh, send them to your printer and becomes a unique uh, unique part made for your unique system well that's everything here on earth now you were talking about space farming can you go a little bit more into that how did that idea come about and where do you see the future is it is this something that was going to happen soon or are we talking I mean years from now what are your thoughts on this I think we're talking about a few years from now, maybe more. Uh, some people think it's still kind of science fiction, but uh, I absolutely believe that eventually people will be in Mo going to Mars. And you know, there's a lot of programs going on, like Mars One, where a lot of people from Earth are signing up to actually be sent to, to Mars One way ticket. And as they go there, they, it's just logical that they would have to bring 3D printers to build their houses, to build uh, you know, systems, and naturally they would need food to, 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 to grow on Mars. It just becomes logical that you can bring a 3D printer, get the, com get the 3D printable components, you know, print them, put them together, and uh, start growing food on Mars, on, or same way on Earth or International Space Station. And if people want to read more about your company and about your projects, where can they find you? You can find us at 3dponics.com. All the information is there. If you want to build your system, you can get all the components, get all the instructions there. And we have an online store, so you can actually buy, uh, buy the supplies you need, like fertilizer and, and pumps and etc. So, yeah. right, well, we hope one day we see some farming in space. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm Lauren Keating with Tech Times.